few days back I have been dealing with the CSV file and I wanted to read that CSV file so I went ahead and instead of using a third party component I just coded it myself. The CSV file was something like this. It had a header with few attributes and body and one of the body of course had a comma in the column value itself. So it was not just the separator, even one of the value had comma. And in this cases, we could use double quotes so that it can be read properly. But when doing a hand coded program, this can become a little bit complex. So let me show you what I initially did. So what I did is I had bar, I just viewed plain and simple file dot read all lines. And here I give the file name. And I created a couple of for each loop. So I took the lines and then for each line I did a split on comma and then I'm just going to print out everything so I can just do but that's not how it's going to be usually we'll extract each item and put it in an object but for the time being let me print out and show what is the problem that we are going to face. So if I run this application now we can see, let me bring this up here. Oh, let's open this up. We can see name, address, age came properly. John came in fine. But then the one, two, three street, comma street, it is broken into two lines. One, two, three, ST and street. It's just because of the comma here. And after that, everything is fine. So that was the problem I was facing. I could find a solution online, but I was not very satisfied with that. So then I went searching for a NuGet package who could help solve this problem and make it easier. So I ended up getting a CSV NuGet package and this is called CSV helper. This is the NuGet package. So I installed it. So let me go ahead and install it here and show you how it works. Now for this one, for this new get package, you need to declare a uh, object. So the way it works is if we have to use it first, let me get rid of this code. We don't need this anymore. We are going to create a stream reader to read the file and then use the CSV reader passing the stream reader and then we can get the records. But for that, we have to define a model with which we will have to bind the record. So I can create a record employee. So we have name, address, and age. So I'll give the appropriate property name. And then here, what I can do is I can create, let's see, word. So I'm using the employee.csv again. And then I can then again do using bar CSV reader equal to new. And you can see the CSV reader is part of the CSV helper namespace. And here we can pass 
the reader which is the stream reader there are a couple of overloads and we can pass this one the cultural info so we can say dot and I'll add the namespace system.globalization and I can give invariant culture because it is not and, and here it should be stream reader and after that what we can do is we can do bar attempts is equal to a csv reader dot get records and it is a generic type and here class the employee record and then after that this is an enumerable of employee so I can do for each for item item and console console dot right line and here I can do item dot name address item dot h and now if I run I'll see that the problem that I was initially facing is going to be sorted out which is the address now is showing up one two three st comma and then straight instead of breaking it into two different columns so that is definitely an advantage the other thing is there's one more thing to keep in mind sometime the name here can be different than what we want in attribute so this one can be employee name instead of name in this case what we have to do is we can use an attribute again provided by the csv helper it's called name and here I can pass I'll just copy paste so that I don't make any mistake I can pass this and now if I run I should get the exact same response you can see getting the exact same response but if I don't pass it it's not going to work as expected and you can see we're getting an error here and if we see the error it's going to say that the header name you know employee name do not matches with the model so if we now go ahead and pass it again properly it will work as expected as you can see similarly we can use the same csv helper to even write csv and it should be exact opposite of this instead of stream reader we have to use stream writer and let's call it employee1.csv And instead of CSV reader, CSV writer, similarly stream writer. And what we can do is first let's create an array of employees. So we can say, well, let me get rid of this bar. Items equal to new list of employee, and actually, I can do this. I can use this new dot net with syntax, and here I can say new employee, 
Here I am putting a comma in the address to demonstrate how it's going to write ultimately in the output. Oh, because I just declared a var item. I should have declared it as a list of this should fix the problem and then let's create yet another record just so that we can have two records and here the name can be Sam let's say 456 let's get rid of these state trade and let's say 45 and now here what we can do is we can go ahead and say ESD writer dot write records write records and of course we can we don't have to pass it it will infer if we just give the records here which is items and let's run this and it worked and if I just show all files we should see this employee1.csv here and we can see it employee name address age and we can see here for the address it has put this address inside a double code because we had a comma it's automatically taking care of it and then the next address is as expected so that is all i wanted to show i use this csv reader or csv helper nuget package and i found it to be very helpful that's why i want to share with the rest of you hope you found this video useful and that is all i wanted to cover for this video if you are new to this channel please subscribe to the channel and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and thanks so much for watching this video.